Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today I'm gonna be doing a Sephora haul. I'm gonna be doing my haul that I picked up during the Sephora appreciation event that they just threw on us. I was not expecting this sale. My wallet wasn't expecting this sale, but I did pick up some stuff that I'm really excited about. Um, I wasn't gonna shop the sale just because like I said, I wasn't expecting it. And I was planning on going to the sale in November for the original like fall VIB sale, but I got scared that they might not do that one and that they're replacing it with this one. So I thought I would pick some stuff up just in case that they don't have that one in November. But like I said, I didn't pick up a lot, just some stuff that I've been eyeing for a while. But if they do have one in November, I'm still gonna shop it because November is my birthday month and I'll be so excited to hit up Sephora and get some stuff on sale. But yeah, so if you guys wanna see what I picked up this time, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing I picked up from the sale was this Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. I have already tried this, so this is gonna be a repurchase for me. I tried it last year during Christmas time. I had gotten it as a gift and a little skincare set, and I really, really liked it, but I couldn't tell if it was just this product on its own or if it was like combination of all the products I was using because I did get a lot of different skincare that I was trying out. And so I ended up passing it up for the VIB sale because I did have a little bit um, a product left over and I didn't repurchase it and then I ran out and then I couldn't repurchase it because it wasn't on sale and I wasn't gonna pay full price for this this baby's $80 and so I didn't want to pay full price but I could really tell a difference in my skin not using it my skin just really missed it it does give you a nice like warm sensation on your skin that just makes me think that it's working and it's actually doing something let me know if you guys feel that like little warm sensation when you use it as well um, but I did use it this morning and the color has changed when I first got this product It was really orange, but now it's like more of a clear consistency I don't know if maybe they changed the formula or if I didn't shake it enough or it just always looked like that and I'm crazy I don't know um, but I'm really excited to have it back in my skincare routine even though it is pretty pricey I do feel like it makes a difference in the skin and so I'm so excited to use this again I only use it during the morning time just because I use something else during the night because like I said, I don't want to waste it because it's so pricey, but I do feel like it does make a difference in your skin, so I picked that up. So the next thing I got, I'm so freaking excited about. I It was so hard for me not to open this because I really wanted to use it, um, but I wanted to film it in my haul before I opened it. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Filter Finish Primer. I'm so excited. This was so expensive. It's a $52 primer. Um, I did try the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer first just because I felt like that was going to be a dupe. And I did show it in a haul video, but I don't think I showed it after that. I did try it like in a first impressions, but after that, I like never gave you guys a recap on it. And that is because I returned it. I did not like it. It balled up on my skin. I don't know how people are comparing the two because... I don't know, when I felt this one in the store, it felt a lot more hydrating and different than the Tarte one. Every time I had any kind of skincare on my skin, the Tarte one would just ball up and it wouldn't mix well with other primers. And I like to mix my primers. You know, I like to put Smashbox primer water under everything pretty much. And that one just did not mix well with anything. So I'm hopefully thinking that the Tatcha one is really good since everybody has been loving it. And so I really wanted to try it out. It has such a luxurious packaging. Look at that. And so I'm, I'm so freaking excited. Hopefully it's worth it because if not, I will return this because it's $52. Oh, it comes with a little disc. Look at the little disc. So cute. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. This reminds me of astronaut food because of the way it's packaged. But this is actually pretty heavy. When I was in store and I like picked up the tester, I was like, oh, this is way more heavier than I thought it was going to be because when you see like a lightweight like disc, like this, I felt like it was gonna be lightweight, but it's actually has some weight to it. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and just open it. It's so pretty, uh, and it smells good. It smells like perfume. Ooh, so excited. Okay, so you just screw off the top. 
And this is what it looks like. I'm so excited, guys. I cannot wait to try this. Let me know if you guys want me to try this like in a first impression or just like a get ready with me using this for the first time to see if it's worth the hype. Just let me know if you want to see it in a video, but ah, I'm so excited. Hopefully it will help with my pores because my pores have been outrageous lately. Like they are so big and they just keep growing. And it's not that I'm getting oilier. I'm just getting larger pores. And then my skin's also getting kind of dry. And then so I'm breaking out, but then it looks really dry and cakey. And so my skin just needs help overall. Like my foundation just has been looking cakey no matter what foundation I'm using. So hopefully this primer will really help things out. I'm so excited. I know I keep saying that, but it's just how I get guys. It's just how I get over makeup. Okay, so I did get some samples that I'm really excited about just because um, if they do have the sale in November, I want to buy some foundations. And so I thought I would get some foundation samples to try them out and see if I like them before I like do the big purchase at the VIB sale in November. And so I got the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and I got it in the color 1.6 and have already tried this. I already wore it twice. Um, and I really liked it at first, but every time I asked somebody like if they liked it on my skin, um, like one person said it looked really heavy and cakey, and then the other person said the same thing, it looked kind of heavy, and then Christian said that it looked nice, but it was just okay, and so I'm not sure if I would purchase this. I mean, I liked the coverage, and I liked how matte it was. But I don't know, if it looks heavy on my skin, I do not want it. And then the other sample I got was the Dior, um, what is this called, Backstage Face and Body Foundation. They didn't write it on there, that it just says Dior. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's called the Backstage Face and Body. And I got the color 1.5 Neutral, and this is actually what I'm wearing today. But please don't pay attention to it because my skin is just breaking out a lot and I feel like I caked it up because I put powder foundation on top and I was just trying to cover everything. And so so now I feel like I look cakey, but um, before I did all that, it looked really pretty on the skin and really natural. And like I said, since my skin is getting drier, but I do get really oily, I like more foundations that look more natural on the skin rather than too matte or too oily. And so this seemed like it was pretty good. And so I'm just gonna keep trying it out. And if I do like it, I probably will repurchase it in November. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, so the next thing I got was totally like, I just saw it in store and had to have it like I wasn't planning on buying this palette whatsoever I was actually planning on buying another product that I did end up repurchasing later on but um, I was there and I was deciding between the two and I decided to go with this palette which is not what I intended to go there for what I intended to go there for was the other product um, so I just got this instead because I loved it and Christian was convincing me since now he's been helping me with my videos He's actually been a lot of help like when I go to the stores and stuff Just trying to see like what would be good videos and what has like good quality and I've never tried anything from this brand This is from the brand Violet Voss and this is the Flamingo eyeshadow palette and so when I saw this, the colors reminded me a lot of some of the colors in the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette, which I totally wanted, and but they didn't have it in store, and so I couldn't swatch it or anything. But one shade in particular in that palette is why I wanted the whole palette, and it was like that yellowy, lemonade, shimmery color. And this palette has an exact color just like that one, except it has a lot more variety of colors that I would actually use. And her palette, I kind of just wanted that shade and all the other ones were kind of just okay. But this one, it had that shade plus a zillion other shades that I would love. So let me go ahead and open it and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's so cute. It looks like a little book and then you open it and it has a mirror and here are all the colors. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So this shade right here in the center was the shade that I thought looked exactly like the one from the Dominique Lemonade palette. And then as you can see, there's just so much different shimmers in here and I was swatching them in the store and I just fell in love. The mattes are on the more pastel side. They do have a black shade and then they also have this shade called Sand, which is just kind of a like base color which I really liked and so I'm just so freaking excited to try this palette. I feel like it's nothing like what I already have, like it's very different to add to my collection. Um, I was scared that it was a little bit too similar to like my Huda Beauty one, but I feel like that one's so small and this one you get so much more variety. So I cannot wait to try it. I'll go ahead and swatch some colors for you. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna swatch the yellow that I was telling you guys about. 
We'll swatch this blue. We'll do this dark orange. Ooh, this teal color. <gasps> this pink. I just love every shade. I just want to swatch them all. But I'll swatch these for now. Look how colorful my hand looks. So pretty. Okay, so the shimmers are definitely swatching a little bit better than the matte colors. But uh, it could just be that I'm swatching them. You know how some shades will work better on the eyes rather than a swatch. But the shimmer shades are for sure really pigmented. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to show you guys. I swatched them in the most awkward position ever. Okay, so there they are with my awkward arm. They're so pretty. I kind of just want to like live swatch one so you could see how um, buttery the shimmers are. Okay, so this is the purple. Look how buttery that is. It just goes on so perfectly and they're so pigmented. It's like a pastel purple, so hopefully you guys are seeing it, but they're just so freaking pigmented. And they have like no powder kick up. You know how like with the Anastasia shimmers, um, you'll get a lot of kick up with them. These are like really hard pressed, but they still get pigmentation, if that makes any sense. I'm so excited about this palette. Okay, so the next thing I got was actually from a different day. So like I was telling you guys, I decided to go ahead and get this eyeshadow palette instead of one of the other products that I was gonna buy. But then I ended up regretting not getting that product. And so I went back to Sephora and went ahead and picked it up. And the product that I'm talking about was from Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder Veil. And I'm so excited. I've heard so many good things about this translucent powder. I think I've even put this in a anti-haul video. I know, don't kill me, don't kill me. Um, but I wasn't planning on picking it up just because I've tried so many powders already and I feel like I have so many in my collection. But I just kept hearing really, really good things about this one and so I really wanted to try it out. And I feel like it's kind of an in-between of the powders I have now. Like right now I do have the original Laura Mercier which is just matte and then I also have the Laura Mercier glow powder which is a little bit too glowy for what I'm going for. Like I do love this powder but I wanted something kind of in the middle for those days where I didn't want to exaggerate texture and I wanted to have still a glow but not too matte. So I went in an in-between and I heard that's what this is. Basically, it's a powder that still blurs pores and fine lines, but it has more of a luminosity to it, more of a glow. And so I really wanted to try it out. You guys know I do have oily combo skin, so hopefully it'll hold up on my skin. If anything, I could use the original Laura Mercier like on my nose and then use this pretty much everywhere else. Um, but if you guys haven't seen my video over the new Laura Mercier Glow Powder, I will have it in the cards right here. But this one's more of like a highlight, like it's super duper glowy. And so like I said, I just wanted to try this out because it's right in the middle. It was really, really pricey, which is why I was thinking about not getting it because I do have lots of powders right now. And I've actually really been loving my pure one as well. Um, but I just, I had to do it for the sale. I had to because I wanted to see what all the hype was about. So I'm really excited to try that out. And like I said, I've been having so much problems with my pores lately. And I heard that this one just blurs the heck out of your pores. So if it does that, I'll be really excited. Oh my gosh, so I just threw this in my Sephora bag, but this is actually from Ulta. I got it for gratis, and I guess I just threw it in here to show you guys because I couldn't really show it in any other haul because I haven't bought anything from Ulta yet. Um, but this is the Strive Vectin Tightening Neck Cream, and I got this for gratis from work from a vendor. She works with this um, Strive Vectin brand, and so she gave it to me to try out if I could open it. Um, but basically, it's just a neck cream. I have seen a video on this, and they have some crazy dramatic results. Like, people's necks look so different after they use this. So I was really excited when she gave me a little sample of it. She was like, you're really young. Do you even need one? Like, do you want one? Because she was giving everyone one and I was like yes girl why do you think my neck does look good because I prevent that stuff <laughs> and so um, I'm really excited to try it out because I love moisturizing my neck and so I just thought I would throw this in this haul randomly okay and then last but not least I did get some samples when I did go back to Sephora because 
why not? I'm kind of thinking of like what I'm gonna get at the next sale just because I wasn't ready for the sale, like I said. And so I got some more samples. I got the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask, which I have already tried. I just have been breaking out lately and I didn't wanna buy the full size. So I asked for a sample. And then um, the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial Mask. This one I have tried only once and I, I tried it in a sample as well, but I didn't use it properly. I used it like the way you're not supposed to. And so I wanted to get it again just so I could actually follow the directions this time and see if it actually works. But the people at this Sephora were super nice. I went to a different Sephora and they gave me two of like each sample. So she gave me two Glam Glow Mask and then also two of the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. And she filled them up to the top, and so I just thought that was so sweet. Just because at the other Sephora, they gave me foundation samples, but they only gave me one of the little plastic things, which I don't mind, but I just thought it was super nice that she gave me two of everything. And so yeah, guys, that's everything that I got for this Sephora appreciation sale. I'm super excited for the November sale. Hopefully we still have it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know that if we're still like gonna get the original November sale just because I asked the Sephora girl and she didn't know anything she didn't she had no idea she's like I have no idea I'm so sorry and I was just like okay cool <laughs> uh, but let me know if you guys know any of the information so I can know to save some money for that sale as well also if you have any questions about these products make sure to comment it down below just so I can answer you guys also make sure to give this thumbs up if you love these haul videos especially the ones on sales just so I can know to hit up some sales and do some more hauls but yeah i'm really excited i am going to be doing another video on the 21 days of beauty which is coming up and which i'm so excited about as well um but yeah if you're not already subscribed to my channel my name is Brittany raquel you should totally subscribe i make videos every monday wednesday and friday so that's three times a week for you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye